What is up everyone? I'm Tythonus and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalar. So, last episode we left off, we were in the Gorehart Inn and we got ourselves a few side quests here. So, what I think we're gonna do, honestly, in this episode, is just gonna kind of explore and see the world, be immersed in it, and just kind of go through things. So, if you're into that, Let's hop right into it. Look how, by the way, I got a comment. Look how cool that flaming sword is. That is awesome. I freaking love it. What's this? Okay, so this is the bartender here. One thing I was curious about is can you like rent the room here? Gorhart Inn. Tell me about the Gorhart Inn. I've worked here since I was a girl. Arnik runs an honest business, and Agnar treats me like a daughter, though he doesn't say much. If you need a healer's touch, Katrin works out of a room upstairs. She's Alpha, but I wouldn't hold that against her. Okay. So there's a healer upstairs, apparently. Nothing of interest to tell. I'm just a simple farm girl from the plains of Erethel. I left home as a girl and travelled west, found myself here in Gorhart. What about the village? Can you tell me about the village? It's as good a place as any, I guess. The Fey are strange, but they rarely bother us down here. I worry more about Nanny Henry, the creepy old alchemist. Okay. Uh, all right, that'll be it for now. What's this? Four heart citizen. What do we got back here? Bookshelf. Coins and the adventurer. Okay, let's head upstairs. Hi. Wait. Where did my hood go? Hide helmet is on. I'll leave it to off. I don't really know what happened there. I don't know why it did that. That's odd. Okay. Oh, Katrin here. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? Uh, okay. So, tell me about healing. I require a nominal fee only so I may eat and have a bed to call my own. Okay, what about the Fey? Find the fair folk if you wish to learn the ways of magic. They understand this world in a way that is hidden from mortals. You will find many Fey in Dalantarth, as it is one of their ancestral homes. Okay. So healing, what do you have here? Heal, cure diseases, and lift curses? Oh my gosh. Didn't know that was a thing. That's very, uh, Morrowind-esque, the diseases thing. I can't loot that, because it would be a crime, apparently. What about over here? Anything? I don't see anything. There's a plant. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to leave, I guess, this inn. I thought maybe you could rest in the inn to change the time of day, but I don't Zelda. Crazy Sister Zelda? What? What? That was odd. Okay. So, it's interesting. There's aspects of this game that remind me very much so of Fable. Like... I think more so like the the characters and how they appear remind me of Fable, and the aesthetic of the the world the environments remind me of Fable. Stay close to the village. Okay, and the music, but like for example, like the combat so far, anyway. Like I, I remember Fable had like that flourish system type of deal, and this doesn't have that, but. I played a lot of Fable and I remember the combat very well, but I haven't played this game before, so I don't know what the combat is is like later. 
but I am enjoying this game and the combat and the world, but it does give a very fable-like feel to it. So I'm, I'm really digging it. Like when I see these chickens, all I can think is chicken chaser. And I'm like, I'm pulling back into that world, you know? So it's definitely hooking me in. That's for sure. So let's continue on here. What do we got here? Deliveries chest. Oh, what is this? Oh, <gasps> oh, is this like a uh, DLC armor and stuff? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, crap. Oh. I want to use it, but at the same time, I just like kind of want to experience the game. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Robes, cowl. There's so much in here. Like, do I take this and like become like God tier or do I just like ignore it for now? New twist of fate awarded. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to look at some of this stuff here. Valley of the robes or va the valley robe. Sorry. Oh, no. I'll take that. Let me do this. We'll, we'll, here's what we'll do. The truth. What is this? This is a shield. We'll take that. What's the field? It's a, uh, lightning damage here. I don't know. The guardian helm. Let's take all that stuff. What's the mountain? Mountain's like a hammer and the tower. Okay. What's the beast? So the beast is just a sword. What's the forge? Oh my gosh. I don't know what this stuff is. The moon, the wind, the night, hunter, infernal helm, shepherd's curious. I don't know what this stuff is. Do I take all of this stuff or should I leave some of this behind? Omni blades. Bates Needle. Compass of Fate. I honestly have no idea if I should have taken any of that stuff. Um, but okay. That's a big old hammer. Omni Blades. Those look cool. Those look cool. Kind of digging the hammer a little bit though, honestly. Secondary. I didn't get, I didn't see, oh, I didn't look really. Shepherd's Helm. That looks cool. Those, that also looks cool. Uh, Shepherd's Gauntlets. Armor regen, mana regen. Oh, that's good. The mana regen thing is kind of cool. 
<laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then, uh, Shepherd's Greaves. So that gives us mana regen, armor, and health regen. What we have the tower, the truth. That looks cool. That also looks cool. I think the tower looks a little bit cooler. That looks pretty neat. I like that. Um, what else we got? The Guardian's Gauntlets. The Guardian Greaves. Those look cool. I like the Shepherd's stuff a little bit better though. Guardian stuff is more focused on, oops, um, the Guardian stuff is more focused on the, uh, full, um, melee build type of deal. What is this compared to here? I'll take it. Uh, the field, the song. Guardian Curus, the beast. What is the beast? The running man. Oh, great sword. Okay. That's a great sword. Okay. The moon, the wind, the night. The hunter. Vigilant. Elm. Greaves. Fate's brand. Fate's edge. Fate stem. There's a lot of stuff in here. Imminent legs. Imminent cap. Imminent gloves. Pensive robes. Fate's curve. Destiny's distress. Fate's mallet. Twin souls. Fate's eye. Destiny spiral. Dowsing rod. There is so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh. I wasn't ready for all this. Um, okay. The beast is... That's cool. Fate's Edge. Okay. The Forge and Fate's Brand. Burning damage. Oh, that's cool. I like that. What do we got for uh, armor here? Stun duration, health, experience bonus while in reckoning mode. Yeah, no, I like I like the shepherds there. The pensive robes. Mana regen, ice damage, mana experience bonus. Oh, I can't equip that one. It requires three sor sorcery. All right. Well. Uh, shepherds gauntlets. We're gonna use those, I think. The Guardian Greaves. Yeah, I like the mix of Shepherds because it's got the the the, the mana plus the uh, the armor. Destiny's Distress. It's a cool looking shield. Destiny Spiral. I can't equip that. I also can't equip the Tower or the Truth. Why don't I equip that? Not that I can't. Okay. So the tower or the truth is one. I think I want to go to the tower. So can I put some of this stuff back in this chest over here? So wait, wait, hold on. Before I do that, did I get a secondary type of weapon that I can use? The flame. 
Ooh, that looks cool. Fates Arbor. Oh, the flame looks cool. I'm gonna use the flame. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So I can't put anything in here. I just, it's just, I can just pick stuff up from here. Okay, it's gonna stay in there for now. So we have a great sword that's on fire now. Giselle Wolf Black. I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust to life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? I don't know. Tell me about the Crystal War. Truth be told, I know nothing of why the Tuatha are at war with the Alfar, nor why men fight the way they do. All I know is who picks up the pieces. The Tuatha's madness infected the Winter Court. All Fae existed peacefully for centuries, until the Tuatha got involved. It's sad. Okay. Um, alright. Well, I'll talk to you later. Farewell. Goodbye. Letter to Avery Egist. One. Okay. What do we got here? Anything of interest? Alden Gorehart. Okay. Okay. So she's just praying at these these uh this, this, these these areas here. That Matharu has given us. I see no order in obstructing the truth. That is chaos. That is what the mission fears. Help me to expose the mission for what it truly is. A prison of ideas in which they hope to keep us locked away forever. But I tell you, your mind must not be caged. Okay. Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. The light of hope will leave you in shadow. Sister Zelda. Interesting name. It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites and am as legitimate as any monk. Okay. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. Father Dinwell? He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the church deems worthy. Okay, well, tell me about the wooden... <laughs> The Wounded Maiden. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. Okay. I won't then. Tell me about the Fae. If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks for the talk. Oh. Ugnar Odgrey. Nothing to see back here. Just a man working for his pay. We in Gorhart like to stay focused on our business. That way the face stay focused on theirs. Okay. Good enough. Alright, so... Do we go in here? Oh, there's a guy here. Father Dinwell. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. 
Although one never knows what might be a test of faith, you have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. You need aid? We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Okay. Well, I guess I'll help. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Okay. Can you tell me where I should look? Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Uh, what about Sister Zelda? Frustrating, that one. Stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Matharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason. Hmm. Okay. Bless you, child. Yeah, sure, my dude. Sure. Damn red okay. Legion. Can we open this? <gasps> we can. Okay. So, what do we got here? What, are our, what does our missions look like? Here's Gorhart. So basically everything is... Welcome to Gorhart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this direction, right? What do we got over here? There's a chest. You've reached the limits of your character's inventory. This limit can be further increased through the purchase of backpacks at certain merchants. Okay. Destroy or sell items to make space. For real? Okay. Uh, what do we got here? What can we drop? Remove uh, marking the item for later by sale by right clicking and selling add the junk, dragging the item to the junk bag. Okay. So what we need to do here is like. Add the junk. 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 Armor. What do we got here? Add the junk. Add the junk. Add the junk. Add the junk. Add. 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 So now I should be able to go back over here and sell these things real quickly and then grab those items in that chest. All this is a learning curve. Come in. Figuring out how the Get game mechanics work. Gold. Shop. Uh, sell all junk. Okay. I want to sell, oops, anything I can sell or did I just, Goodbye. do I have stuff? Okay. I guess not. Okay. It's, it's fine. Let's continue over here.
Okay. So. Don't start any trouble. I'm not gonna start any trouble. Lawbreaker's Grotto? I'm not going that way. Heck no. Alright, so let's go back over here. Grab this chest. There we go. Okay. What's over here? Bogart. Ouch. Gotcha. Nice. Altar of Belen. Death's Touch. Agnar Farhal. Is this like a dungeon or something? <gasps> oh, it is. Okay. All right. So, we're going to stop here. Now that we're decked out a little bit in some new gear. I'm assuming this is all DLC. That's kind of makes the most sense. But, anyways. We're going to stop here. Next episode, we pick up. We're going to do this dungeon here and see how it goes. So I want to thank everybody so much for watching. I'm sure that uh, there's some frustration watching me like skip around and jump around on things just because I honestly am new to this game and I'm just like, oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this. So anyways, thank you. So with that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And don't forget to share this with friends, family, whoever. And I'll catch everyone in the next one. See ya.